Common on many microphones is the term HPF, a high-pass filter. High-pass filters relate to the removal of low frequencies. This is often included in many microphones to help the recording engineer eliminate low-end rumble, which may cause problems later in the mix. Having a variable high-pass filter means we can actually set the frequency and all resulting frequencies below that get attenuated. It can be common for engineers to attenuate frequencies as low as 40 hertz or as high as 100, 120 or even 150 hertz at the microphone stage. The pad control on microphones describes the amount of decibel reduction we can get at the sound source. This is used by engineers to make sure that we can turn our gain pots up at our mixer or sound card interface and still have enough headroom before we run into distortion. This ensures that we still have control over the amplitude, the amount of sound, going to our recorder. By not implementing a pad at a loud sound source, you can run into problems such as distortion if you want to turn the microphone preamplifier up. Some engineers use distortion as a creative quality, and again it's all about experimenting. You'll find a lot of times that slight distortion on a guitar amplifier actually works really well. The term proximity effect relates to the addition of low frequencies as we move the microphone closer to the sound source. Now a lot of engineers, including myself, tend to use this often as a creative tool. You can grab any microphone you have and simply by moving it closer to the sound source you get more low frequencies there. That's due to the physical surroundings of the sound source and the room working with the microphone. For those of us that may not want the proximity effect, simply moving the microphone back eliminates it. This is another really cool feature that you can use with whatever microphone you're using. You've got to understand that microphones are tools for carving out sounds, and the different microphones you have help you carve different angles in your mix. An important aspect of stereo microphone techniques are the 3 to 1 rule. The 3 to 1 rule states that if you have one microphone that's this far away from the sound source, the second microphone needs to be three times as much. This is to ensure that we don't get any funny phase polarity issues. Some engineers like to play on the 3 to 1 rule and will actually move microphones into that region to get that polarity issue, to help them make an instrument stand out or perhaps hide in a mix. The term preamp stands for microphone preamplifier. The signal we capture and then convert into electricity at the microphone is not enough to accurately record it. So by using a microphone preamplifier at the top of our recording chain, we can actually increase the voltage. By doing that, we make the signal louder, and by making the signal louder, we get a true representation of it on our recording device. 